What's going on guys? Today we're going to learn Yellow by Coldplay. This one's got a really cool introduction to hammer-ons and pull-offs with a really cool riff that's played throughout the song, so this one's going to be a lot of fun to do. If you're brand new to guitar, you're going to want to start with my free beginner crash course here. Everyone else, make sure to check out my top 10 steps to mastering the guitar free training in the description below this video, along with chords and lyrics to follow along with this song. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so there's the intro. So this one's pretty simple. We're going to start by playing a G chord, but we don't need this third finger on the sixth string. So we can just play second, third finger on the third fret of the sixth, second finger on the second fret of the fifth. And what we're going to be doing here is switching between a G and a G at 11, which is your first finger on the first fret of the second string. And the big thing here is you don't want to hit this top string. So I find it personally easiest to take my pinky and kind of gently rest it on the string so that it mutes that so that it doesn't ring out. So you have every string except this ringing out so you can still have a nice easy strum. Okay, so then from there we're going to do one and two and three and four and up. There's the first bar, and the second bar we're going to do a one and two and, put this on, three and four and a. So, so you're doing one and two and three and four and a. One and two and switch and put your finger on three and four and uh. but right there is the full intro. Then the next part will move into the break, which is played before every verse and the bridge. Okay, so there's the break. I'm going to show you two ways to do it, the easy way and the hard way. You can try out whichever one works for you. So we're going to start off on this G at 11 chord. And we're going to switch between this and adding that pinky on the third fret of the second string. So you're going to start. The easy way to do these is going to be without the hammer on and the hard way is going to be with them. So to start off, you're going to play just our strumming pattern from before, one and two and three and four and a, on this chord with the pinky there. So what you're going to do if you want to play that way is just play that like that. If you want the harder version, then you can do a hammer on from this first fret to that third fret at the very beginning. And then do your strumming patterns. So that would sound like just like that. So you can do it either way with or without the hammer on, it's gonna be similar. But then in the second bar, we're going to go back to just this first fret there. So if you're playing it without the hammer on, you're going to do... And if you want to add in the hammer on pull off, you can do... So 
it's up to you, either with or without, but you're going to play those two chords. So then moving on, we're going to do a very similar thing on a D6, going from there to there. So first finger on the second fret of the third string, and then on and off the second fret with the second finger on the first string. And here, you can, and here again, you can choose whether you want the hammer-ons and pull-offs or not. It's up to you. But our strumming is going to be the exact same as that first chord. Or without the hammer-on pull-off. So you can hear how that's the exact same strumming, one and two and three and four and a, uh, as this first chord. So then we're gonna do the exact same thing on this C major seven with third finger, third fret of the fifth string, first finger, second fret of the fourth string, and then our alternating note is gonna be this middle finger on the second fret of the third string or the open third string. And your two chords are going to be like that. So once again, the non-hammer-on version is going to be this. And if you want to do this with the hammer-ons, again, hammer-on at the start of the first bar, pull off at the start of the second. So you can hear how that's the exact same pattern as our first two chords. Then to end off, we're going to go back to this G at 11 and do the exact same thing as we did the first time. Or by now you get the idea, you can play that without the hammer-ons and pull-offs. So then all together, played slowly, this section is going to sound like this. There you go, there's the full section. Okay, so moving on to the next section of this song, it's going to be the verses. This one's gonna be probably our easiest section so far. So here's the full thing for you. Alright, so this one's going to be our easiest section so far. We're starting on a G, just without this top string there. So once again, I find it easiest to mute this just by gently pasting your pinky there, so it doesn't ring out. And then you've got that there. So it doesn't really matter if this totally doesn't ring out. If it does, it's still the G chord, so it'll still sound nice, but it is better if you play it without that top string just for the sound of the song. So you can do our strumming pattern twice on this G chord. So then we're gonna to switch to our D6, you've already seen this one, and use our strumming pattern we've used for the rest of the song. You're just playing that strumming pattern twice like that, and then you're ending on this C major 7, and doing the exact same thing as the other two chords. And that's it. There's the full verse section. So played for you slowly all together, we're going to have this.
there you go. There's the full verse. And there's just one more point on this verse here. At the very end of the verse, to transition into the chorus, we're going to play this. So that's really simple. It's kind of like the intro, just a little bit different. We're going to do our normal one and two and three and four and a on that G there. But then we're going to start out the second bar with a one and two on that G at 11 with that first finger there. And then switch back to the G to finish off the bar. So that's at the very end of the verse, just to finish that off. One bar on the G, three strums on that G at 11, and then back to finish off the bar on that G. And there you go, there's the full verse. Now moving into the final part of the song, which is the chorus. All right, so this chorus is gonna be pretty easy because we've already seen all the rhythms that we're gonna use for this. So we're gonna start on our C major seven and just do our standard strumming pattern that we've been doing for the rest of the song. And then our second bar of this rhythm is gonna be two different chords for half the bar each. So we're gonna switch from that, we're gonna do one and two on an E minor. And then switch to our D6 for the rest of the bar. So it's gonna be You can see full bar on C major 7, three strums on E minor, and then finish off the bar on D6. So you're going to play that three times, and then you're going to end off the chorus by holding out a C major 7. So all together, the chorus for you is going to sound like this. And there you go, there's the full chorus. And there you go, if you can play those parts, you can play this entire song. Try and work on those hammer-ons and pull-offs, work them in, because they really do add a cool element to the song. But if you can't do them quite yet, don't worry about it too much. Without them, they'll work fine. Practice the song and you'll have it in no time. If you learned something from this video, please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. Make sure to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss one of my uploads and you get learn guitar a lot faster. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.